Hey there, friends. This is Millicent St. Clair with a mini coaching session on how to become APQ, meaning active, purposeful, and questioning. Now, sometimes when learning something new, we might tend to become passive in the learning process. You want to become active. And in all of our programs, the first thing we teach is how to get into the right state. The right state for learning, because effective learning is a state-dependent activity. You already know that if you're hungry, if you've got other distractions or conflicts or stressors, you're not in the right state for learning. So you want to eliminate all those distractions so that you can focus. You want to be in a state of what we call relaxed alertness, where you're physically relaxed and you're mentally alert. That's the most receptive state so that you can integrate everything that you learn into a deeper part of your inner mind. Now, let's talk about purpose. We like to say that purpose is the engine that drives everything we do. And the mind, it's kind of like a GPS. I like to think of it like that. If you give it the coordinates or if you tell it what you want or where you want to go, it will deliver, baby. But if not, it's akin to driving around in a car with no destination. The question is, what do you want from the experience? What do you need to know? What do you want to know? Because the more concise you are with establishing a clear purpose at the onset of your learning experience, the greater your achievement. Now, I want you to realize that purpose is an emergent activity. In other words, you may start with one purpose, and as you progress through the materials, you might find that it changes and takes a, a you know, little bend in the road, and it might expand, and that's perfectly okay. Now, let's take a book. This one here, The Sedona Method. It says, your key to lasting happiness, success, peace, and emotional well-being. All right. Let's do a little mind probing and just ask a few questions. Like, what would be my purpose for spending time with this author? Why am I attracted to it? What is the Sedona Method and how can it help me improve my life? How can this information help me to, let's see, maybe improve my communication or develop more confidence or experience lasting happiness, peace, success, and emotional well-being? Might the Sedona Method help me become a better investor and increase financially. I mean, it does say success, right? Yeah. So after a bit of probing, a starting purpose might sound something like, my purpose is to discover what the Sedona method is and how to use it to achieve more success in my personal and professional life. You see, you get to say, because you're in charge. But a nice clean purpose gives the brain exactly what it needs to help you fulfill on it. And you also want to know that asking powerful questions is significant because inquiry is the very thing that activates genius. So learning to be APQ will reinforce everything that you're learning and it's going to help you build a strong neural pathways inside of your brain and improve your memory and comprehension. And you do want that, do you not? <laughs> So <clears throat> we want you to know that we're committed to helping you to develop learning strategies so you can access more of your potential and your brain's superpowers because you have superpowers. So again, you want to be APQ. Come on, say it with me. APQ, which means what? Active, purposeful, and questioning. And remember, a little quote I love by Emerson. He says, one that does not the thing has not the power, but the one who does the thing has the power. So segment some time in your day and get busy doing the thing. And I will see you on the next coaching session. So thanks a lot.